Good evening viewer, welcome to our Glory Globe TV, here's the breaking news. Yes, a 24-year-old man lost his life due to electro while using a treadmill at Gymplex Fitness Zone in Rohini Sector 15, now Delhi. The deceased, identified as 24-year-old Saksam Purthi, was a B.Tech graduate and worked at a company in Gurgaon. The incident happened on Tuesday at around 7.30 am when Saksam was running on the treadmill at the gym. After the workout, he sat down to rest but soon collapsed. Saksam was rushed to Baba Sahib Ambedkar Hospital in Rohini Sector 19 where he was declared broad dead. The police were notified of the incident by the hospital and Deputy Commissioner of Police Rohini Gurikbal Singh Sidhu confirmed that electrocution was the cause of his death as determined by the post-mortem report. A case has been registered under sections 287, negligent conduct with respect to machinery and 304A causing death by negligence of the Indian Penal Code and an investigation is underway to further understand the circumstances surrounding the tragic incident. The incident prompted the Delhi-based Gym Owners Association to issue a vital advisory of its members, urging them to ensure electrical safety at their establishment. According to the advisory issued by the Delhi Gym Association, all gym owners have been advised to promptly check the earthing connections at their gyms and inspect the electrical systems thoroughly. The association emphasized the need to eliminate any loose sewers in the exercising area and to have an and to have all electrical points examined by the qualified electricians. Chirak Sati, the vice president of the association attributed the tragic event to a fault in the electrical wiring of the treadmill. In response, the association reached out to all its member gyms which include popular establishments like Anytime Fitness, Gold's Gym, Gravity's Gym and the Gym among others, they are urged to take necessary measures to prevent such incidents in the future. Delhi with around 5,500 small and big gyms as well as yoga and aerobic studios now faces the challenge of ensuring the strict adherence to safety regulations in such establishment. As a council member of the association, Mohammad Joheb emphasized the importance of following licensing requirements and avoiding entry into prohibited areas within the gyms. He urged gym goers to be vigilant and follow all safety measures including proper electrical connections and the fire safety protocols. Bien,